Okay, guys, so here's my new project. There's this guy named Tim Yoder. He, uh, I'm sure probably most of you guys know him. He's pretty famous, I guess. He had a TV show and stuff. Um, the Wood Train with Tim is his channel. Um, and uh, he's pretty cool. He's got a lot of, a lot of neat uh, information, does some really cool things, and he's a pretty funny guy. So I watched him do this thing where he took a stump, an old piece of wood, and he turned a bowl into the end grain, and then he left it, you know, just completely like this on the outside. So I had this piece in my backyard sitting over there, and I think this is the piece that I got from up at my pop place, uh, and I don't know what this wood is, but it's kind of cool looking, but check this out. This is a freshly sharpened gal. That's probably one of the best cuts I've got. This stuff is like petrified wood or something. Uh, but it is, oh my god, it is so hard. I mean, 90% uh, of the stuff is just, you know, I mean, it's dust. The shavings are, are not happening here. And I've tried uh, carbide, negative ray scrapers. I mean, all, every tool that I have, and they're all just the same. But I have gotten this far with it. So, uh, that was just part of part of what I'm trying to accomplish here. But I think I'll make it into like a bird bath or something. I'll seal it up with, you know, uh, mineral oil or something. And, I, and it'll be cool, you know, it was an adventure trying to figure it out. Oh yeah, so you know my old blade? I took it over to uh, my son's friend's house. His name is Matt. He's a new turner, like today new turner. Uh, it was the first time that he had turned anything, and uh, he got a new job. And he's, and he's, you know, he's he's loving his job. He's doing great. Uh, super smart, intelligent guy. Um, but and he, you know, he's kind of stressing out with this new job. So uh, he said, you know, hey Mark, I'm trying to find something that's going to, you know, calm me a little bit. So he did this, and, and he really liked it, and he took to it super quick. So, like I said, I sent the lathe over there, I gave him some old tools and some other stuff, uh, and uh, ho hopefully he will be carrying the torch for all its old dudes uh, on into the future, right? So, uh, so that was it. You know, people do a lot of kindnesses for me, and, and so it was, it was cool to do something for somebody else. And he was super excited. So Max, man, if you watch it, I hope uh, you uh, are having a good time. I hope you're enjoying the uh, turning and stick with it and you'll, uh, you'll get it down. Um, so you guys know the drill. I just wanted to have you check this out real quick and tell you about Max. We will uh, see you next time. You know the drill. If you want to subscribe, push the subscribe to me. If you want to comment, I love love to talk to folks, so sit and shoot me a comment, I'll, I'll sure to answer it. And uh, you know the main thing, guys, uh, do a kindness. Uh, it's it's amazing, it's an amazing feeling. Alright, I'm going to get back to this rock and try to get it at least the rest of the way cleaned out. Um, that's it for now, guys. I'll see you next time.